Hello, everybody, and welcome back inside the box for another episode of Gumpla Kit Bash with me, Kukamatsu. In this episode, we're going to try and figure out how to attach those pink panels of the feet. So let's jump right in. So the next step, I think, is going to be to, to fill in these gaps in the front and, and in the back. Um, first thing we probably need to do is clean up, make sure all these pink parts are uh, uh, burr free and looking good. We did some pretty rough cuts to get us this far, so uh, let's just tidy that up and then uh, we'll be ready to add in some connector bits. Sometimes you just have to get your fingers out of the way. These forceps tools are great for this kind of thing. Hold on to the part for you nicely without risking your fingers. What I'm thinking of doing is I have some of this uh, plaw plate. This is a styrene pieces that you can get uh, either online or at your local hobby store. This is the evergreen stuff. There are a couple of different brands that sell this. <clears throat> this particular one is um, 0.5 millimeter by 3.2 millimeters. And what I want to do, I think, is glue it in behind there like that position it, glue the other side, and then I'll have the spacing figured out. And then I can glue another piece to the front of it, or a couple of pieces probably. Um, so let's start just by gluing this guy right on here. I'll glue on there, and then Get in there. Try and do it without getting it all over my fingers. Probably should have cut this piece down before I did this. It's wobbling all over the place. Let's try that again. And I have some, what is this stuff called? Insta set activator. Kicker, also known as Kicker. Didn't quite work out. What, I think what happened there was I, I fiddled around with the glue too long and then when I put the kicker on, it was already too late, so it didn't stick. So we're gonna try it again. Just tuck a little bit of uh, super glue down in there, like so. That seems to have worked somewhat better, but for some reason, and it's not sticking. I wonder if my activator's gone bad or something. So now the trick is to put a little, uh, little bit of glue on the end of there. That set up. Then 
it the way you want it. Make sure it's sitting flat. Sometimes you just have to hold it until it's done. I'm going to try the kicker again. There we go. So we'll set, just set that aside for now to let it really set up. We'll do the front. Hoping I can do something similar. This one's a little more tricky because I want them to taper in a little bit. Probably about that much. Is that going to fit in there? I might need to get a slightly narrower one or maybe I'll just cut this one down. What I have here is called the chopper. It's basically just a guillotine with a razor blade in there. Fantastic for cutting this kind of stuff. If you're going to do any work with the plot plate, I do highly recommend it. You do need to be careful because you don't want to get your fingers in there. I'm just going to try and get a good length of this. Let's see if we can. Very nice. So there you go. Well, I've refreshed my kicker, so hopefully. It will work better than it was. It was looking a little yellow and this is more clear, so maybe that's just the problem I was having. This is looking good. I think that's gonna work. It doesn't matter whether that's perfect back there because we're gonna put more filler on top of it. So if it's not straight, that's not a big deal. You just want it to hold it in the right location and it's looking really good. So I'm gonna go for it. Ah, see, worked first time. So, must have been just old kicker. That's working much better. I think that is looking super cool. I like the shape. I like how it tapers a bit at the front. Do the other side and get ready to uh, fill those spaces in.
Well, as you saw in the time lapse there, I struggled a bit with the second one. The first one fit so easily and perfectly the first time. The second one was just it was a little off kilter. I couldn't quite get the spacing right. And, uh, it just didn't seem to sit properly. So I took some time. I think I've got it now. Maybe I don't. Let's just see here. Yeah, I think I've got it. I cut out a little bit more of the the inside of the pink pieces to make it sit properly on the foot. And uh, it all should just sit naturally there. Because if, if it's twisted or not sitting well, it's just going to cause you problems down the road. It does seem like I just hang up, hang up this part here a little bit, but still. That is looking pretty good. The reason you want to just spend that extra time to make sure it's sitting right, because when you get to this stage, you don't want to be fighting with it. You just want it to sit where you want it to be. Kicker in there. And I give it a second. I wanted to make sure the spacing was the same as the other one as well. I think we're going to be all right. There's a slight misalignment there. I'm not happy with. fit. And the nice thing about putting this this uh, thin plastic piece in bit behind before we actually do the connection is that you can kind of bend it around a bit until you get it exactly the way you want it. Before you have to commit, for example, these need to tuck in a little bit more like that. I can bend it in. I think we're in pretty good shape. And that is the end of episode three. In the next episode, we'll be filling in those gaps that we made today. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a like down below and subscribe if you want to follow along. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.